Hey YouTube, Hill Country Husker. Thanks for checking in and watching the videos. Uh, appreciate all the comments. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe. I'll leave your comments, uh, good, bad, otherwise I do appreciate them. Uh, what I want to talk about today is I've been given some thought about uh, taking down a couple of my videos. Uh, the one about the Florida shooting trial will not end well and also the um, black on white race war has begun um, here's why i'm thinking about that uh, i didn't post those videos to stir up controversy uh, in fact i did it uh, for just the opposite reason uh, if at all possible uh, what i was hoping to do was uh, uh, post those to examine the potential civil unrest that will result out of it either way whichever way the verdict goes um, as I mentioned in the videos um, that's what I really wanted to do was examine that part of it uh, but instead um, instead of the videos promoting uh, discussion on preparation um, the prompted uh, name-calling personal attacks between uh, those that were viewing it uh, just general butchering of uh, the English grammar uh, that was done by some of the trolls that happened to stop by. Um, so uh, I did learn something out of this. I was reminded of something. Uh, you know, we all know that the uh, mainstream media uh, puts a spin, puts their spin, whatever it is, and whatever it is, uh, on every story that's reported. Uh, and in this case, it's no different. Um, for example, uh, Matthew Owens beating in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, national media reported only part of the story and this is something that um, I was reminded by uh, one of my YouTube viewer friends in Florida uh, the local story was actually given more detail on both sides of that issue than what the mainstream media was mainstream media was uh, spinning it and, and tilting the story and and like they had had uh, some ulterior motive uh, whatever that may be um, what you have to ask yourself is, why does the mainstream media do this? Uh, you know, recognizing that the mainstream media does this is half the battle. Uh, the other half is understanding why, and you'll have to dig and uh, discover that for yourself. Um, but the media does do it. Um, in short, back to my two videos. Uh, I don't find them now to be informative or helpful uh, to the situation. Now that is why I'm on YouTube. I'm looking for helpful and informative information. Um, a lot of the channels that I subscribe to are just that. Uh, they provide instruction on different things, whether it be uh, constructing your own uh, MRE bug out bag, uh, solar ovens, uh, things as, like that that uh, are, are practical everyday survival tips, prepping tips, um, uh, getting the right survival and prepping mindset. Uh, that's useful and helpful information and, and that's, just, that's the reason I'm on here. And plus I also want to provide uh, informative and helpful information as well. Uh, that's what I that's what I want to try to do. Uh, I'm not putting on uh, mindless videos that waste people's time. Uh, I've got another channel that I do all my stupid family videos of, you know, 15, 20 second clips of uh, the kids playing and stuff like that. I, you know, that's not what this channel is about. This channel is, is to, to tr try and, and be helpful. Um, you know, I don't want to waste people's time. I don't want to post something stupid on here uh, that's not going to get, get viewed and, and not going to be helpful. Uh, I want to do things that are going to make you think. Uh, think about who do you trust? What are you doing uh, in your prepping? I want you to be thinking about risk management process. Uh, I want to talk about the world financial crisis and what's going on in Europe and what's going on in Asia and what's going on right here in this country. Uh, that's just to name a few of the things that I want to do. Uh, makes you think about um, what I call circumstantial friends. 
these are um, like your your neighbors that you live next to that you're friendly with and they're your neighbors and they're right next door and you see them every day and you hey neighbor how are you um, and you might do things now and then but if you move even if it's across town to or even to a neighbor to a, a adjoining neighborhood how often do you see those those former neighbors um, that's what a that's what a circumstantial friend is there uh, like your coworkers, uh, sure you guys might go out to lunch and you hang out and you have a good time at work, uh, maybe at a couple after uh, outside of work functions. But if you leave your job or they leave the job, uh, are you guys still good friends? Uh, are you still hanging out? Um, I have close friends that I can count on one hand. Uh, my oldest friend I've had since 1969. We were five years old. We still keep in touch. Uh, that's a friend. That's not a circumstantial friend. Um, made a reference to this in the movie Fight Club. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I think he called them uh, single serve friends. Um, that's the guy you sit next to on the airplane and have a uh, conversation for the next two to six hours while you're traveling to your destination, and then you both kind of go your own way and you don't think about each other again. That's kind of like what a circumstantial friend is. I don't look at YouTube like uh, the people on here, they're not like circumstantial friends. I kind of view them more as a uh, online mutual aid group. Um, we're all here trying to provide information, uh, trying to help each other out, uh, supporting each other. Um, even though we may be separated by hundreds or thousands of miles, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we all have a, a common goal. Uh, we're not trolling on each other's or, or other people's sites. We're here uh, with a purpose. Um, we're not here goofing off, doing stupid things. Uh, we're here trying to be helpful, trying to help each other out, trying to prepare, trying to make each other aware. Uh, there's so much going on that no one person can stay on top of everything. I mean, I got the things that I kind of dwell on, you know, the, the financial problems and the civil unrest that's going to come out of that stuff that's going on in Europe. I'm trying to learn more and more about that each day. I know there's others that uh, uh, have different topics that I I watch and I learn from them. Uh, things that, you know, I'm like, well, I didn't know that. I need to look more into that. Uh, that's that's the videos that I'm, that I'm trying to promote and the ones that I'm trying to look for. Um, so, uh, basically, the videos that I'm taking down uh, I, they don't fit that mold. Uh, uh, my intention was that hopefully they would. Uh, they haven't. Uh, like I said, I did learn something from them, but uh, I think it's time to go on those um, and kind of get back more to uh, talking about things like, uh, you know, who do you trust? Uh, online security survey questions that you might be taking where you're giving out information that uh, you shouldn't be giving out. Uh, these are some of the things that are going through my mind that I want to uh, explore a little bit more. Uh, these are the things that I'm looking for on YouTube and I want to I talk a little bit more about. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody viewing the videos. I appreciate the comments. Um, keep them coming. That's just my thoughts. Hill Country Esker. Thanks.